Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be playing some Flying Robot, which is pretty much a different deck from what I've played uh, yesterday. So basically, okay, that, that was that wasn't the optimal defense, but uh, either way, it w it won't be the type of deck that I've played yesterday since I've played some more cycle decks, a control decks, this type of stuff. Uh, today we're gonna be playing just straight up beat down and. We're gonna be trying to beat someone up with these good old-fashioned decks. He's gonna actually get a very aggressive and since I don't have a good uh, response against ground, this steel hammer will bring a ton of value for him. I'm gonna go with uh, Flying Robot though because my uh, uh, T-Rex is still alive and uh, I'm gonna actually go with a balloon and right now he kinda has to address that because if he doesn't, his tower will fall. I obviously have some safety net. Right now I'm gonna get my devils to stop his steel hammer. Not this time, buddy. And he actually gets a symmetry on my viking tower, which is pretty much a sign of resignation. I would say a very poor player, Carly Boom Master, he gets uh, he gets cheese, probably the first thing that he does after waking up. And that's not a good sign absolutely not but it sometimes happens i'm gonna absolutely take the win and move to the next game and the second game we're gonna be playing today is against chiva chai a45 so it's he's pretty active member of a community having 2.5k medals as of now it's pretty much close to the end of the season you would expect him to be a little bit higher but it doesn't really matter he's gonna wait obviously for me to make a first move which is always pretty uh, weird uh, while I'm playing with this guy because well you kind of expect uh, people to get to get more uh, at ease while playing a video games but it's not the case with Chiva Che he's also playing his weird yeah weird mirror deck which I presume this balloon should be able to connect and there we go we're gonna get a hit very cool to see Starting right off the bat and that's gonna be very actually good uh, opening because as a flying robot player you usually want to just base trade and uh, with this variant I want to base trade but to a point like it's kind of a control deck if I may say. I'm gonna play a flying robot right now, try to play a flying robot into a viking every time I have a opportunity to because uh, it's the viking player that actually wants to go the opposite lane and yeah, he's gonna be playing ghost which is absolutely valid response I'm gonna play some devils in here. I would love to get a kite uh, With his viking, but unfortunately that's not gonna be the case. I'm gonna get then footman uh, To counter this viking and okay, that's not gonna be the case. He actually Absolutely split my forces, which was the uh, thing that he wanted to achieve, I presume. And yeah, that's gonna be a very tough uh, from here on. Now I should have just all in everything with my flying robot. That's not gonna be the case here. He's gonna get a lot of apes. Like I've said, Chivache is one of the most patient players uh, in the game since he uh, sometimes will just uh, let you play cards over and over until uh, you physically uh, will get impatient uh, before him and that's why he probably just uh, got me here so I'm gonna get uh, my footman here he's gonna get a flying bomb which is obviously a good thing for him he's gonna I actually will get even a balloon in front of a flying robot which is obviously uh, not the way to go yeah I think that's gonna be just an L uh, Okay, I'm gonna get a poison here just to slap everything that it's possible. He's gonna get some ace, but yeah, I, at this point anything that I do, it doesn't really matter because he has the win locked in anyway. He's also gonna be having a cycle, which is like, like is the weird composition of a deck if I uh, would say so, but uh, he gets away with that. He's gonna take a nine from us, which is, well below average because I wasn't pushing too much uh, this season and yeah we're gonna just uh, brush it over uh, loses sometimes happens he played very well and here yeah, we're gonna just jump to the game number three and we're gonna actually get a rematch against uh, Chivache so let's let's actually 
Let's actually wait for him first. Let's actually not make a single move un until he's gonna move something because I think that's pretty much the only way that you want to be playing against this type of uh, guys. The only the only thing that's kind of annoying with that is that I'm trying to record a video so I'll have to like entertain you guys with my yapping for the 2 minutes strafe and that's usually not how I want the, the, these things like to go in the video. Like if I were to play in a like big tournament it's fine for me to just wait because I'm already there and uh, that wouldn't be such a hassle in this case, but I'm just playing some ladder, I'm recording a, a very casual video. Uh, I don't want to like uh, sweat too much if, uh, if you can say so. He's gonna be actually playing like this. I'm gonna play some footman, force out some flying bomb like this, get some devils. I wouldn't say that's a bad trade so far, but yeah. Uh, it's always tricky to play with someone that has uh, pretty much uh, two big spells. I mean, has a potential to have two big spells. And oh, that's weird. Oh, well, that's weird. I presume what happens is that... Uh, what happened is that I hit the, uh, uh, the twins with the edge of my blitz, which uh, kind of dealt damage, but uh, didn't stun, so... Yeah, that, that was that was very bad. <laughs> that was very bad if you ask me. Also, uh, another thing is I cannot go like with a balloon on the opposite side. I mean, I can, but uh, th there's a huge chance that he's gonna just uh, play a flying bomb or something on it. Uh, like, in practice, he pretty much knows that I cannot... Uh... Okay, he's, he's gonna play that way, huh? Uh, I will just stop the Viking and pretty much uh, try to not lose the tower here and okay he's gonna get one more ape. I think that's the perfect moment to just go for the flying robot just try to ball it. If he plays twins on my uh, on my left side I will just suck it because at this point this is the thing I have to do. I actually have 20 seconds I didn't realize that earlier so my balloon uh, may be late which obviously is not good. So yeah, I, I think I think I will actually be uh, late because uh, he has like uh, everything in his power to just stall my push. And yeah, that that's that's gonna be unfortunately another loss uh, because I didn't realize my situation on the clock. Wow, I'm pretty confident I would be able to just play it for a win if that wasn't the case because. I had a huge uh, mana advantage and yeah, like th these guards or this blitz was just a panic move. Normally I wouldn't play that, I would just play more valuable cards, so yeah. And that sometimes happens. Also he has pretty uh, nice like deck. Now that I'm seeing it against Flying Crow because he has two air cards, he has a Cyclone, he can mirror Cyclone, he can mirror third air card, like absolute garbage. So sometimes uh, you just get hard counter and you cannot do anything about it. I'm not gonna whine uh, more about it. Let's just take the second L and yeah, let's move to the next one. Hopefully in better game. And in the next game we're gonna meet Red X with 1000 medals. Let's see how he's gonna be playing. He's gonna actually have a Necromancer, so let's just uh, check his second uh, air defense. He's gonna have a Piercing Archer, so if I were to guess, it's gonna be a Viking Bersam. It would be lovely if my balloon were to connect, and it's gonna actually connect, so yeah. That's gonna be very nice to see. He's gonna actually play a Viking right here. Which is always fun to see, even after some uh, nerfs to a Viking archetype. Uh, many people still play it because it's just... I mean, it's not really easy to use, but it's uh, pretty much easy to learn, I would say. Like, uh, once you learn Viking Brixman, pretty much uh, you can always play the same thing and you will uh, find uh, quite a success. It's not like this deck has to adapt to different metas, so I think that's why people are playing. I'm gonna just ball with a flying robot, just hope to get some trace. He's gonna actually play a ghost here, which kinda works directly into my plan, so I'm gonna be playing a, a T-Rex anyway. So that's gonna be nice. 
my flying robot will uh, cross the midway point of the uh, arena and he actually will give up which is pretty weird to see because uh, in my opinion uh, he would actually have some uh, some play after that I don't know I definitely would have not uh, given up here and yeah unfortunately we get a resignation and that's gonna be uh, the mark of the game number four so we yeah. had Pretty cheeky win, I wouldn't say it was too hard because it wasn't, he just gave up, well, that sometimes happens, let's just jump to game number 5 and forget about that one. And in a game number 5 we're gonna be fighting against Lemony Squeeze, who's gonna start up with a ghost, presumably another viking bridge spam, pretty weird how uh, usually by playing on ladder I don't see this deck uh, quite often, usually it's like everyone's playing cycle decks or... Uh, I don't know, another uh, bizarre meta decks and uh, once I switch to a flying robot, like everyone is playing this deck right now, uh, like you could have seen, I got a very nice uh, blitz on the twins, it wasn't bug this time, um, I probably presume that uh, in the second game of the video I just got a, uh, I, I just got very unfortunate. That's all I can say about that one. I'm gonna allow this Dark Knight to connect, then I'm gonna play Shield Skeletons to just uh, amortize the damage. I'm gonna play a, a T-Rex to delete these archers. I would love this Flying Robot to get in front, but unfortunately my T-Rex actually will get in front, so that was, that was the suboptimal play, which I kinda uh, didn't want to happen, but it happened anyway. Well, sometimes it is what it is. I'm gonna get a balloon on the tower though, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a good thing because right now I'm gonna just get a tower. He's gonna actually use bullets, which I don't think uh, was a good play. Sure, he may save his necromancer, but the uh, thing that he needs right now is counterplay, and he definitely doesn't get that uh, with. With, with bullets because his necromancer was the one that had to just spawn some apes and uh, just start his counter push rolling and with bullets I don't think like that that was the best plan I'm gonna play shield skeletons here um, I'm gonna play actually T-Rex here okay I think that yeah the T-Rex will go in front once again that's uh, that's just a bad display. Also, this necromancer will survive, which is just bad. I'm not. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Right now, the bullets are justified because he will just pre preserve his necromancer. Actually, this is getting way more annoying than I anticipated because I expected this necromancer to die uh, a long time ago. Also, this dark knight having. A 360 splash is just uh, not fun right now. I'm gonna. Try to get a T-Rex on this footman. I'm gonna get a flying robot. And right now, okay, he's he's getting uh, very wild aggressive. I don't know if I'm the fan of that. Um, I think I am. I think I am actually a fan of that because right now I can just slap a balloon because behind my flying robot, and I don't think he's holding it because I'm gonna just play poison on every single uh, air targeting shoot of his and right now yeah he's gonna play even flying bomb i was about to say he's gonna be playing bullets but it's not gonna be enough because balloon will connect to the tower and deal enough damage to close the game so that's gonna be it for today's video like i've said it's gonna be a different deck today Pr pretty much quite matchup dependent and since i've m met like uh, an absolute hard counter two times. I don't think uh, even you expect me to win this one because it, it's just very hard to win. I think just Chivache got traumatized by flying robots and put every single card that was good against it. Maybe it lacks only a super devil because it's very solid card against uh, flying robots. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel since I'm gonna be posting more Boom Arena content very soon and you definitely don't want to miss it out. So yeah, thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.